So I went from this to this. So as you can see, I did a little bit of beard trim and a mustache trim. And I filmed it while I was in the bathroom. So I'm just gonna show you that little clip and do a little bit of voice over what I did. So yeah, I just did another beard trim and I might explain why I did the beard trim and mustache trim when I do the overlay. So hope you enjoy it, check it out. If you have any thoughts or questions about it, uh, leave them in the, the comment section below and enjoy. All right, so in the beginning, I'm going to trim my mustache first and use that little pin to actually mark my mustache so to find the spot I want to cut at. And we can just measure that with measuring tape. And as you can see, I was, I was having a little trouble, difficulty with the measuring tape. I tried to lock it, but I just didn't lock it good enough. Anyway, I'm going to mark there probably about four inches, I think it was. Make a little mark on my stash that you can see right there so I can get a point of reference that where I want to cut. And do the same thing on the other side to ensure I get that evenness, the same uh, mount on each side. Because that's one thing you don't want to cut too much off one side and the other side, then you start going back and forth and get too short. So, might as well measure off the first time and get it right from the very beginning instead of just trying to eyeball it. And that's what I prefer to do myself. If you have any other ways of uh, trimming back your mustache, uh, leave those in the comment section below. Let me know how you uh, trim your mustache back if you have a, a no longer mustache like I do. I got my trusty scissors there. If I remember right, I got these on Amazon. They're pretty cool and they're not pointy, so I can use them to cut my hair and trim my nose hairs. If I remember right, I'll try to leave a link to Amazon uh, and then the description below. And I always cut it at an angle. You don't want to cut it straight up because then because as you, if you cut it at an angle, when you, when you curl it up, it's going to look at an angle. And I actually cut off about two inches off my stash. So like I said, when you, when you do cut it at an angle, you still have it come to a point. Same on both sides. I would do at least, a, try to get at least a 45 degree angle or, or steeper. When you cut it off and kind of adjusting because you want to go ahead and cut my mustache first just to keep that out of the way so that's not messing with the, I want to do my beard trim and we're gonna go ahead and get to that beard trim now I'm going to take it quite a bit off so first I'm going to take down the sides just a little bit as you can see there, just kind of go straight down a little bit. Because I'm going, as you can see in a minute, I'm going to go a little bit shorter of my beard. I actually do have an interview coming up for a new position. So I just want to have a nice clean look. And if I get it, I hope I do. So wish me luck. But if I don't, you know, I can always grow it back out some. But anyway, it's like it always with my beard trim videos. I always start in the center, get my main point, a line, of, line up where I want to... Uh, Cut down to and just go straight back. Then just kind of follow that line around to the sides. And just kind of go around from there. But as you can see, I just go for it. You don't want to be too nervous when you trim your beard. Of course, and again, if you're kind of reluctant, you can always start off. Uh, you know a lesser length and just kind of go up from there kind of just take your time be methodical about it and if you know ultimately when you're done it's always you know just kind of put the trimmers down you need to come back the next day and reassess and if you do need a little more touch up you can do it then because you don't want to chase perfection Never go like me that I don't like, I mean, I don't want to keep it like perfectly, perfectly lined up, have a little bit more natural, naturalist to it, so to speak. Uh, you have a little bit easier time with that, I think. But if you do want that perfect block round look or block square looked, you definitely want to take your time and not overdo it. Because then you'll, then you'll be chasing perfection 
and you may cut it a little too short on one side, then you're gonna cut it short on the next side, the other side, then you're gonna go back and forth, then you're gonna end up with a shorter beard than what you really wanted. Like I said, don't don't taste taste perfection. Just kind of take it slow and methodical. Like I said, you're gonna comb it out. Actually, I do, I do find that comb is gonna knock out those hairs a lot easier than a brush will, because you know, the tines are a little closer, so it's gonna pull out anything that you may have missed versus a brush. And kind of just, not just kind of brushing, just kind of give it over a look to get, see what it may look like after the finished product. Just a little touch up that I may have seen in the mirror and kind of just round them the top side there just a little bit. Adjusting the sides a little more. Because even with the brush, you know, generally when you brush it, you know those hairs are going to stay down, but some of them kept um, coming back up, so I just want to get rid of those real quick. Remember the very beginning, you, know, you, you want to style your beard the way you normally do before you start a beard trim. You really don't want to put too many uh, products that are actually really not really all products in your beard, but at least you know, style it as you normally would. I do put at least some oil in my beard before I do a beard trim. And I always just make sure the, si the sides are done because I always go straight down from my earlobe straight down. Because I do have, you know, a few amount of hairs though that grow over there that far back. I'm doing some a little more fine tuning there. As you notice, I muted the actual sound of the trimmers and stuff like that. Because I, I don't like to hear the sound of the trimmers when I do these beard videos and watch them back. I think, it, for me personally, I think it's a little more distracting that way. So, we'll just do a little overlay. So, there we go. That's what y'all think. Getting close to being done. I do kind of mess around my mustache a few times here, but as you'll see, but just kind of coming out right now. Getting close to rounding it. Uh, getting close to being done. I don't know why I was really focus about my mustache right now because I did you know I did measure it after I trimmed he didn't see me uh, measure it to make sure I did trim it right and I got perfect because that's what those lines for in the very beginning so we don't rewatch that part you know I put that line on it measure it out put that line on it to ensure that I got the right amount off each side and I had double checked it afterwards and it was right on and here we go so I hope you enjoyed all right, so there it was, my beard trim and mustache trim. Like I said, I was doing that for a interview I have coming up. So that's for a new position at my company. So I hope I get it. Of course, that'd be a promotion and a pay raise, right? So, so let's hope I get it. Wish me luck. Keep your fingers crossed. And remember, when you're doing a beard trim, just kind of take it slow and easy. Don't try to do too much at one time. You can't chase perfection. So just to kind of do it slow and methodical. Think about what you're doing. You know, until you get used to it like me, I'm just used to it. I just go for it. And of course, again, you know, if you do the mess up, remember, it's hair, so it's going to grow back. So don't be too upset if you make a mistake. All right, so remember, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section in, in the area below. Remember, keep, keep your beard as healthy. Until next video. video.